Welcome, my name is Doug Pexa and I'm an artist and today we're gonna paint some mushrooms. That's right. It's a little messy in here, but hey, it's a working studio, so it should be a little messy, shouldn't it? Today, I was gonna do some epic -y intro and all that stuff. None of that today. Let's just get in and start painting. Today I'm painting a couple mushrooms uh, for a commission. Uh, one of them is going to be some elm oysters, so that's a specific kind of mushroom. And uh, I'm also going to paint some honey mushrooms. Uh, I'm going to kind of keep them light, easy, airy, uh, fun. So let's just get, let's get the paints out and let's do this thing. Honey mushrooms, a lovely, cute little mushroom. Yeah, uh, edible. And here I'm just blocking them out, get a little sketch. And just getting the basic colors down. That's a good way to start. Uh, they're kind of bunchy. It's a small bunch here. Just in color, adding shadows to give it depth. This one really ends up being kind of really loose. I kind of like that. It gives this nice little impression of this little group of mushrooms. They're just happy out in the woods. Adding to the background to kind of get more feel of what's going on in, in the negative space adds a lot of interest when when you do more layers in the back that will definitely help your painting and i think that really helps with this this guy here the layering and even if you don't see what you did before just adding layers and layers of colors and forms but you eventually get at the finite of the painting when the painting is all done, uh, which is, I think, a great way to work. You really feel a sense of, of what you're painting. Uh, a nice quick little painting here. Let's move over to the Elm Oyster here. And again, just uh, kind of building up an impression of what I want. And this is based off of a photo I had taken out in the woods, actually. Uh, the Elm Oysters, you often see growing on, well, Elm, but uh, they, they're always growing out of these little knobbies. Building up layers, the base stuff kind of filled out. These are a white mushroom. So using white, yes, but for shadows, highlights, I'm going to be adding some blues and and um, and yellows to to the white to give it sparkle, you know, the yellows, highlights. It's subtle, you don't have to do a lot, but unless you want a lot to really punch the highlights out. Really trying to uh, get some dimension out of the the tree there, um, the, the stump or whatever it was. And um, 
So again, building layers uh, using using uh, different shades of brown, um, and then also adding uh, I'll add like crimson or or um, cadmium to to the browns. Um, probably using bird sienna um, and. Let's see what else do I use here? Probably yellow ochre and maybe maybe even a little black uh, to darken some of those areas. But the, again, the highlights are going to be be the, the lighter browns with a little yellow or, uh, of course, white. Um, but sometimes I don't want to use white as much because that will tone uh, the chromaticness of the paint down into kind of a much less of a color. Boy, it kind of looks like he's looking over my shoulder. Kind of creepy. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, there's a couple more mushroom paintings for this commission that I'm uh, also doing. So uh, next time, next time after, we'll uh, get those up. I've been doing a lot of paintings, so a lot more to come. Like, subscribe, do all that crap if you feel like it. Otherwise, have a beautiful, beautiful winter day. Unless it's summer, because you're going to be watching this like, in the summer or something stupid like that.